Hello YouTuber, hey how you doing? This is Wiesa from Carfix channel. Today we have Cadillac ATS 2015 customer complaint engine run and stalls immediately. Let's hook up scan tool and check for DTCs. Engine control module we have almost 8 DTCs and we have other DTC related to other module ok engine control module we have P0089 fuel pressure regulator performance intake camshaft position sensor circuit exhaust camshaft position sensor circuit evap system P0641 5 volt reference circuit 1 and we have a lot of DTCs but I believe the main cause of all these DTCs related to the engine control module is the 5 volt reference circuit okay this is the one this is the code I should focus on because if this code if the 5 volt is missing all other DTC will be set let's go back to live data and check 5 volt reference circuit voltage induction data scroll down until we found 5 volt circuit okay here we go 5 volt reference circuit 1 is 1 volt or 1.14 1.17 volt and the state of this circuit is malfunction okay on this vehicle this problem is a common problem and before I dive in and diagnosis and testing by fault reference and measurement and the wiring schematic and so on there is one common problem in this vehicle I would like to check before uh, I proceed with my diagnosis the problem uh, on this vehicle water can go into the ECM connector short the circuit together and pull down the 5 volt reference to zero or less okay I remove the air duct now and to so I can remove the uh, x1 connector to check if there is water or not let's see And here we go, as I guess, water intrusion into the ECM connector. And here the ECM, there is a lot of corrosion and a lot of water. Okay, now what should I do is to remove the gray uh, plastic cover and clean the terminal and reinstall them back and check the 5, the five volt reference note if if the terminal is uh, there is a lot of corrosion inside them this will make uh, frittering in the in the terminal and should be replaced but before i replace any connector i will check i will clean them with contact cleaner and i will check if there is corrosion or frittering inside any terminal or not okay of course I clean all the terminal not only the gray one I cleaned the gray and the black and the blue one for sure I will use pressurized air so I can remove the contact cleaner and remove any debris or corrosion inside the terminals okay now before I recap the gray cover I used the uh, dielectrical AC, AC Delco dielectrical okay apply dielectrical to all connector and squeeze them into the hole of each terminal so I am pretty sure that all the terminal 
have enough dielectrical put back gray plastic cover and reinstall the ECM connector back to the ECM module okay now before I start the engine I would like to verify my repair if it if the, if the 5 volt reference back or not no DTCs, this is good indication back to live data or data display induction data, last one ok, here we go, I will scroll down until found 5 volt circuit 1 back to track, 5 volt reference is back this is common problem on this vehicle water can go into the ECM and short the circuit now I will start the engine now the engine is running and idling no check engine light look fine sounds good no hesitation when the engine is running I would like to verify my repair once again when the engine is idling no DTC back I will go back to live data induction data and I will scroll down to check once again the 5 volt reference circuit if normally back to 5 volt or not ok here we go the 5 volt is back I hope you found this video informational please don't forget to subscribe to my channel like share and leave a comment thanks for your watching